guys doing today? You might be asking why I am dressed up. So, to answer the rumors that have been going around, yes, I am going to court. It is, it is true. The reasons of why, what, what do you guys think? Let me know, what do you think? Uh, I sell drugs or something, big drug cartel going on, that's how I afforded this beautiful car. Perhaps murder, maybe. Maybe I killed somebody, I don't know. Uh, maybe uh, illegal dog fighting. That's too far. So, uh, yeah, no, none of that. Actually, I got a speeding ticket, so that, that sucks, but clearly I have better driving habits now, and I mean, I think that's quite obvious that that's not gonna happen to me again, you know. I, I drive the speed limit now, so that much is true about good driving habits for myself. And I got one of those radar things, which is pretty cool, I mean, it's whatever. Um, so I'm actually driving to the court right now, unfortunately, like, Unfortunately, that's like two hours away because initially when I got the ticket, which I want to talk to you guys about too because this is, I, I didn't think I was going to get a ticket at all. I mean, I know nobody ever does, but let me tell you the situation. So when I got it, I was like two hours out from where I live driving to Wisconsin for like a retreat with some friends and student government. I'm driving on the highway. It's a 70 mile an hour speed limit. I am going 86 or so. And my thing's going off, it's beeping telling me there's a cop, and I see him like far ahead, but he's on the other lane of the highway. So I'm like, okay, I'm good, there's there's no way he's gonna be, gonna go ahead and pull me over. I've been down, I see him far ahead, and I think there's, I'm fine, there's no way I'm gonna get a ticket, because they're on the other side of the highway, there's literally a divider in the highway. Um, so I keep on driving, and in my rear view, Austin, the kid with me, says, oh yeah, sometimes they turn around, I'm like, first off, why would you jinx that? So I look back in my rear view and I see the guy turn around, he goes into like a grass part of the highway, drives over the grass through like a ditch to get to my side of the highway, and then starts flooring it, coming down towards me. I'm like, god damn it. So I drop down to like 65 miles, 70 miles an hour, I'm going the exact speed limit. He follows me for about three minutes. Then he turns on his sirens and pulls me over. So, note to self and all the viewers, PDA right here, cops don't think they won't pull you over, even if the circumstances are like crazy for them to pull you over, because they will like go off-roading to get a car going 16 over. So, that's what happened. I ended up talking to him for a little bit, and he gave me a ticket, and... Oh well, I didn't want my insurance to go up, which, thank you State Farm, it was going to go up about $400 every six months if I lost my good uh, driver and good grade discount and all that other wonderful stuff. So I decided to hire an attorney, I will leave their names in the link and make sure you guys don't use them, because it's been about, mm, say, five months or so since I got the ticket. Ooh, speed detector right there. That's that's my radar thing right there, people. It, it helps out sometimes, but now I don't speed, so I really don't need it. So if you guys want to place some bids on that in the comment section, I'd, I'd get rid of it. But the ticket happened like probably three months ago. There's the first court case. My attorney shows up to it on my behalf. I gave him like the affidavit and everything finds out that he needs to pay the court fees that day too, after I've already paid him his fees, which was like 200 which was cheaper, I'll give them that, they have that going for them. Normally it's like 250 to 400 for a uh, attorney, which is still freaking crazy for a speeding ticket. But anyways, I had paid him already, he goes to the court date, finds out he needs uh, the fees to be paid that day. So then he's telling me, okay, yeah, we got an extension on the court date. Next time we'll actually have the fees and all this stuff. I call him about five to six times the month before my next court date. After waiting forever, having no clue how much I'm even going to have to pay. And they keep on telling me, oh, we'll, we'll find out soon. We're trying to call him or we're trying to call the court. We'll find out soon and we'll let you know. So I'm patient. Finally, I, it's two days before the court date, and they still haven't given me anything. So I'm like, alright, I gotta figure this out. 
So I give them a call again, and I, I'm like, seriously, you guys need to tell me. I don't want my insurance. The whole point of me getting an attorney was so that I don't have to deal with this. And they finally tell me, call the court to find out the fees, which would have been really nice to know, like, two or three weeks ago when I had called, instead of waiting until the last minute. So I call the court, and tell, they tell me there's no way for them to know what the court fees are going to be until the actual day of the court, which contradicts everything that I've been told by my attorney. Thanks, Brian. I, I think his name's Brian. I don't, I don't know. I, I guess I'll, if I'm, I'll correct myself in the comments if I'm off on that. So at this point, I'm like, what the hell? So I call back uh, to the attorney again, to their office, and they're like, um, yeah, you, uh, you can't, we don't know the fees. We're not going to know the fees for a little bit until the day off. So we're just going to extend the court date again. And, um, we'll let you know the fees Friday, which I'm not trying to have the court dated, the court date extended again. It's already been extended once. At this point, my insurance is going to be scanning fairly soon and jack up my rates. So, needless to say, don't use them unless you want to have a very tedious, long process that spans out a lot longer than it would have been for you to just go and do it yourself, and if you want to lose money. But if you want all that, then go ahead and use them. But anyways, now I'm actually driving down to the court because I called them up and I'm like, I'm just going to show up for court because I honestly don't even trust that tomorrow they would have had a actual amount for me to send and pay for them over the phone. I feel like they would have told me they didn't find out the fees or some bullshit like that again. And I'd have to wait another month just for them to extend it again. And then get charged even more for that. So, that's that's my court experience. Not fun. Moral of the message, drive safely out there, guys. Don't speed. It's not worth it. Um, that's another reason why I sort of want to get a Miata, because they're slow. So... If I got a Miata, I wouldn't have to worry about speeding, really. You feel like you're going super fast when you're going 35 miles an hour in a Miata. So, yeah, be safe out there. If anything like this has happened to you guys, comment, let me know. I'll see you next time. Hopefully you've, uh, you've gained some knowledge and learned a thing or two from this video. Peace.